five years on from the earthquakes and the University of Canterbury is maximising efforts to hold on to vital information that may help communities in a similar situation in the future. Chelsea Daniels explains. The University of Canterbury is looking to offer scholarships for postgrad research into the effects of the Canterbury earthquakes. The scholarships that we're offering are related to um, our earthquake archive which is called Seismic with a C and the Seismic Earthquake Digital Archive uh, has been collecting information about the earthquakes for the purposes of uh, commemoration, for teaching and for research uh, and what we want to do is go one step further and actually actively create knowledge about the earthquakes. Miller says as time goes on vital information about the response and recovery of the city is being lost. So I think part of the university's response to the earthquakes, um, uh, we see uh, five years after the first quake that there is a, a lot of material that's being lost, a lot of information that's being lost, and that's because people move on and they get new positions or technologies change. And um, uh, we thought that if we uh, offered scholarships that had students right now coming in and collecting some of that material before it's lost, then we would be in a position to um, support future research efforts. The research will cover a range of topic areas, all the result of the devastation the quakes caused to the region. We're interested in anything to do with the, um, the earthquakes and the recovery. Um, so we're after impacts and we're after responses and um, uh, that can be right across the sort of the gamut of research. So the ones that we're offering at the moment, they range from a history of the Aranui school community to how galleries, libraries, archives um, responded to the quakes and what they learnt from the earthquakes, uh, the effects of um, the earthquakes on migrant communities and also investigation into some of the um, transitional um, bodies that sprang up after the earthquakes, whether it was CANCERN or the Student Volunteer Army or the Rangiora Earthquake Express. And the research won't just benefit Cantabrians. When you think about the number of places in the world that are dealing with all sorts of disasters of all, of, of all scales, I mean, um, you know, even just the refugee crisis at the moment, there's so much that could be learnt from that through the people going through it. Um, our earthquake archive has links to the 9-11 digital archive, which, you know, studied um, the 9-11 attacks. Uh, we're linked to the US hurricane memory banks, so Hurricane Katrina, the people that went through that. Uh, we've got links to Hinagiku, which is the archive of the Great East Japan earthquake set up by the Japanese National Library. Uh, so there are these sorts of archives all over the world, and, and our Seismic Canterbury Earthquake Digital Archive is one of a number that are you know, trying to preserve these experiences and learn from them. The scholarships are ongoing. When the university gets funding, they will advertise the opportunities and award interest and eager researchers. Chelsea Daniels, CTV News.